set dispatch from the 1400 meter marker on the inside, Hat and All, the red headgear of Validus, going off to lead them now. And behind that is Palace Wind, and then comes Forest Jump, Radames. Validus is near the rail. On the outside, Montana Sky. They are followed further back by Northern Warrior. On the inside, Follow My Path, Patronage. The two at the back, Sweet William and Fade to Blacks, racing about eight or nine lengths off the leader. So Hatton All takes them to the 700 meter region. Saipan is second and Forest Jump at the rail third. In fourth position is Palace Wind. Then Validus on the outside, Montana Sky. Between them, Radames. On the inside, Follow My Path with the White Cap. Then Patronage and Tom Bombadil. Then comes Sweet William and Fade to Blacks about 10 lengths off the leader. As they turn for home now with about 500 metres to go. Hat and all, Saipan. Behind that, Palace Wind. Towards the inside, Forest Jump. Radames towards the outside. Then Validus, Fade to Black. And on the outside, Montana Sky. At Saipan, past the 200. Radames becomes a runner. Forest Jump is on the inside. Patronage and Northern Warrior. Radames, though, comes at Saipan over the last 100. Patronage, Northern Warrior. On the inside, Radames. Saipan's fighting back. Northern Warrior's coming late. It's getting close. They hit the line. I think Saipan won it from Radames and Northern Warrior. Number two, I think we'll just make it home. Saipan, Muziani, Komnaidu, and just makes it home. Wins it from Radames, number 10, back in second. Northern Warrior will take the third position. Fourth to Tom Bombadil, then came Forest Jump, Patronage and Fade to Black. The tote favourite, number three, Validus at 5.50 as they run across the line. So, number two, Saipan, 1480 and 390. That's got the red headgear and challenges from Radames. And on the outside, Northern Warrior. But Saipan is digging in this one for Main Chance Farms. Uh, Laganthan Moodley and Mr. Mood Lachmi Moodley as well. And they end up victorious and winning it. Second win from 27 outings and just get home by that head or so. That's all for the time being. There's racing, as I say, tomorrow on the Poly and also on Wednesday on the Turf. Craig Peters signing off. Well, it's Kumara Naidu to the fore in race number eight, closing off the pick six with horse number two, Saipan. He's the son of Versen Getrix. Well done to Main Chance Farms, the breeders. And Loganadan Mudli versus Lachmi Mudli as well, the owners of number two, Saipan. And then the gentleman that takes care of him, his name is Reggie. Reggie, well done to you. 1,000 Rand Hollywood bets and gold circle. Congratulations, my man. Excellent job here. Thank you. Well done to Reggie. Okay, let's get, uh, whilst we wait for Muzi, we'll speak to Kumar and Naidu. Uh, he's the trainer of Saipan, a horse that's now notched up his second career win. Now he's a horse, you just have to find him on the right day, Com. You know, not that he's, he's got bad form, but he enjoys being ridden a certain way. And that's a positive ride. Yeah, he does need a positive ride. He's, he needs to be very handy in front, preferably. But I've noticed one thing with this horse, his best runs have only been on the gravel grass. 12 or 1400 on the gravel grass is, the, is where he runs his best races. You take him to any other track, to the Poly, to Scottsville, he doesn't give you the same run. And unfortunately, there hasn't been many races on the gravel grass for him. So he's had a bit of a break. He was doing really well at home. I just want to say thanks and well done to Logan and his wife, Lachmi, and their family. Nice to have another winner for them and in their colours. Uh, unfortunately, couldn't be here. Yeah, let's hope he goes on from here. How's the stable going? How's the mood back home? How's the staff doing? How's the horses uh, coming along? Yeah, the yard's going nicely. These uh, got nice, nice string of horses, some young horses, some good support uh, from the owners. And uh, yeah, the staff's doing well. You know, they do a good job. We can never thank them enough. To all the jocks and to Jared that's here, you know, he helps me a lot in the mornings. And uh, pity we, we don't give him that many rides. But uh, where we can, we try. And uh, I'm grateful for all his help. Thanks to Muzi, great ride from him to Hollywood and to the team back at home. Well done. Set it all, comp. Safe travels back home. Thanks, Dees. Lovely. Muzi Yeni. Seldom a meeting will go by without Muzi having a winner. 
things are going very well. It's the first month and you must be happy with the way things have gone to the start of the season. Yes, uh, quite happy and a little bit stiff a couple of seconds. Yes. But uh, yeah, it should be happy, DZ, right? It's amazing when you have a look at a, a season gone by, the number of seconds you have compared to wins. Yes. Uh, the you, percentage is very high. Yeah, you do want to try to change that. It's not a good sign. But If you can convert those seconds to wins, you, you sometimes will be well clear at the top. Yeah, if we can get the rise, you get definitely. <laughs> I know, now you're getting to me. But Muzi, coming, coming back to the Zos, what, what a positive ride. You know, come mention it. He seems to enjoy this course, but he has to be ridden a certain way, and that's positive up front. Yes, he doesn't like to be broken momentum, and uh, the front horse uh, wasn't carrying me through. Uh, I decided to take it a little bit up early. Not ideal up the hill, but uh, he was falling back on me, and I didn't want to also like turn into a little bit of a sprint because she kind of battles. So I had him in a nice rhythm. I got a break on them turning for home, and showed a lot of courage. That horse came quite close to me. Actually, when he came alongside, the horse actually put it, uh, started uh, changing his attitude, and starting to stretch his neck and change his legs. So it was a, I thought it was a courageous one from the horse and uh, maybe can pick up another race or two. Well, it's a nice way to end off uh, your week and you've got another busy week ahead of you? Yes, uh, well, you take it one day at a time. You know how it goes. You do it while you can. Well, all the best, Muzi. And wherever you're traveling to next, all the best. And, uh, of course, you're riding it tomorrow, I presume? Yes. And how, how your card looks for tomorrow? Uh, we haven't had a good in-depth tell about it. It's a little bit difficult to when you race every day. You try to take it one day at a time, study hard, because tomorrow those rides are not promised, so you just make the most of today. Well, a nice ride here to close off your Sunday. Thank you very much. Well done to the Moodley family, Mr. Logan, Mr. Lamthy. Just a huge thanks to the whole family. Thanks for the support. Well done to Com Racing. Well done to Fundamali. That's the way we ended off with Jockey Muzi and he teaming up with Kumar and Naidu, and it's Saipan you'll need for the pick six and a wrap of our race meeting at Hollywood Bets Gravel where we were on the turf. A uh, big thank you to our race commentator upstairs, Craig Peters. I worked alongside Kevin Shea and to the team at Gold Circle TV. Until we meet again, you take care. Have uh, whatever is left of your weekend. It's still Sunday. Enjoy it. And tomorrow, racing back at Hollywood Bets Gravel. You take care. Salani Garsleh.